So welcome, people of God. So I just want to release over you a really quick word from the Lord. And this was a word for me that really was like I put in the community page, a huge aha moment. It was a light bulb moment. It was a word that made a lot of sense, a word that showed me how to move into where and what God has for me. And um, it was what I needed. It was what I needed. And, and I pray it will be what you needed. So a lot of times in the body of Christ, especially when people just may be in a bad place and identify their life and what's going on, it's just like, you know, I can't take it. Or, or maybe even if someone is not in that place, just really seeking to have their prayers answered. Something that the Lord talked to me, right, is a lot of times we see messages tailored around the word promotion. We say the word promotion. You're in your season of promotion. We think about in the Bible, the encounters people had with promotion. We think about, you know, David fighting Goliath. We think about Joseph in front of Pharaoh. We think about Ruth in front of Boaz. We think about Esther with Xerxes, right? For me, I identify all these times of promotion. Even in the New Testament, in the Gospels, there are moments of promotion. What what I believe is missing in those words is the process and the progress to that promotion. Listen, David had times of being in the field and had to encounter fighting lions and bears to understand what he had in fighting Goliath. David understood the Bible. David told Saul, right? I can go up against him because I know God. I've had some process and some progress with God. Joseph started this journey at 17 and when he got in front of pharaoh he was 30 this was not an overnight thing this was not a about this time tomorrow and even when we hear that word about this time tomorrow if you hop if you go back just go back a little bit to the previous chapter the word of god that the prophet activated was in a time of desperation people were eating their own kids they need it at about this time tomorrow. They and guess what? It still need there was still movement that had to happen for that thing to show itself. When you look at the man at the pool, he had been in that condition for 38 years and he was still postured and sitting at the pool. Ruth had encountered death and working in a field picking up leftovers before Naomi told her, "Go holler at Boaz." Esther was in a time of being in competition with hundreds of beautiful women and 10 months of herself trying to be beautified before she goes in front of Xerxes. The woman with the spirit of infirmity had been bent over for 18 years and here she is still in the synagogue on a day where she should not have expected performance because it was the Sabbath. So we get in this place where we hear all these words of promotion And we completely disassociate our own process and even our own progress. Some of us want promotion and we don't even identify that we've lived a life of progress. We don't see progress in our own lives. And let me tell you, if you are listening to this word from me right now, you are literally in a place where you need to identify with progress because people have fallen off. People don't want to hear it anymore. You need to say something that's really going to stimulate and tickle somebody's ear in order for them to even be in agreement with what you got to say. Like, no, you need to tell me that right now money's going to fall from the sky. My husband knocking at the door. Like, that's the only way I'm about to click. And I'm definitely, at the very least, probably not going to like. That's where people are. That's where people are. So I want to help somebody, right? Some of us, and we've really been fed this false narrative with all this promotion, and you got people that don't even know progress. The Lord did all that he could to show the children of Israel the big God that he was. This is why he hardened Pharaoh's heart. This is why he told Moses, I'm going to make this thing look as hard as it needs to be, but I just need you to know, Moses, there's no no as far as I'm concerned. When Pharaoh tells you 
no when you tell him i say let my people go that that's not that's not locating me so don't worry about it moses don't worry about it i just need these people to see who i am i need to take them through this process of seeing me right here where they are in egypt doing all this all everything that's going on i'm going to open up the sea for them i'm going to bring plagues where they're going to be delivered from so by the time they get to their place of promotion they will be able to have identified occupied and own progress but guess what it didn't locate them they were still desperate scared people even after seeing the hand of God. Some of you are in such a desperate place when God is saying the, the mere fact that you're here and you're alive is because I am a God of progress. If all you can say is, Lord, you woke me up on this side of all we went through these last couple of years, progress, progress. And some of us can really look at our lives and be like, wow, Look at where I am. Progress. I got a ministry that God is keeping me with two years. Progress. Progress. I got growth and freedom and light that I didn't have last year this time. Progress. But progress. Some people want promotion and you don't even recognize progress. I'm not here to tell nobody that you can't go from the pit to the palace, but you need to know and have identified your process. There was a reason why Pharaoh promoted Joseph. There was a reason why Xerxes picked Esther. Do you understand what I'm saying? I want you to get out of that desperate place that you are of feeling like I need what I need right now. I'm going through what I'm going through right now and use the authority that God has given to you to, first of all, identify yourself as being a person that the process, the process has made me a person of progress. I'm a person of progress. I don't care what this natural looking like. We in a time where even though people don't want to see it, marriage is considered promotion. It's whole ministries out here built solely on getting people married. Marriage is considered promotion. And don't even think about having none of the audacity that Ruth had and actually be able to tell somebody you crawled in the bed with a man you like, girl, please. It ain't no grace out here for that type of foolishness. No, somebody, no, ma'am, no. You can't mess up in this day and age. Mm-mm, no. Do you understand what I'm saying? I need you all to get in agreement with progress. Some of you, whether you know it or not, are in a position that people, somebody else would consider to be promotion. You got, you got money in your pocket, promotion. You got health in your body, promotion. And even if you are like, I have none of that, you have the ability to interrupt your life and speak a word of God and say, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. This process, this process right here, stop in Jesus' name. You are moving into progress because we're moving into promotion. You can decree a thing and it will be established unto you. But if you keep crying about it and whining about it and talking about it, you've taken yourself out of agreement with progress. And this is why people are constantly looking at their lives thinking, I'm just, I'm stuck. Like I'm literally stuck. I'm in the same place I was last year, but you hear, cause trust me, I know people, I know people that this year, their lives does not even look like it looked last year. And that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. Do you hear me? So I want you to identify yourself as a person of progress because that puts you right, right in the direction of promotion. Another, another story God is bringing to me, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, right? We all know that moment. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were, were men that already knew God to be a God of progress. They told King Nebuchadnezzar, we know our God 
And we know we don't even have to go in this fire. But even if we do, even if we do, and he does not save us, we're not bowing down to, to that fire. I'm not bowing down to how my life looks. I'm not bowing down to decay and decline and none of this stuff. No. Interrupt the process of your life. If it's not looking like how you look, speak progress, decree progress. The Bible says that at the name of Jesus, hell, heaven, and the earth will respond. Do you hear me? Get in agreement with progress so you can get in the direction of promotion. Do you hear me? Some of us want an about this time tomorrow. Your life don't look like how those people's lives look. We, We be out here speaking scripture all about a context you don't need a season and a time for promotion all you need to do is to get in agreement with being a person of progress 